morning. I just recorded that whole thing and the mic was turned off. It's a beautiful morning out in Las Vegas. Um, I got up kind of early this morning so I could finish packing or start packing. Uh, as you can see, I got Got the drone, suitcase, some camera equipment, some snowboard boots, hiking boots, uh, all my extra clothes over here, some more camera stuff over there. I'm almost finished right now, so I'm about to take it all down to the car, load that up, lay those pads down, set up my bed, <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a shower, get some coffee and eat, and then I'm gonna hit this road. Dude, it's gonna be crazy. I can't believe I'm actually doing it. I really can't believe I'm actually doing it. This is gonna be freaking nuts. Yeah, let's get all that started and hit the road. San Francisco, here we come. Look, everybody, I'm excited about this bed. It actually looks pretty comfortable. I fit perfectly this way. Hello. Let's see if it shuts. It works, it works. I think that's it. I'm gonna go take a shower now and then um, just load up the food and then we're gonna be on the road. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm making coffee. Making a breakfast sandwich. Bye Kai Kai, bye gonna miss you dude two weeks all right this is the last time I'm gonna be home for a few weeks goodbye home I'll miss you all right here we go here we go there it is it's officially starting right now see you see my bed back there look how comfy that looks yeah I don't know how much I'm gonna be filming today because I'll just be driving the entire time but um I don't know, I'll probably get the state line and cool things like that along the way. Whatever I see that's interesting. So I totally forgot my uh, snowboarding backpack, so I had to run back home real quick to grab that. It's got my helmet, gloves, goggles, all the stuff I need to go snowboarding. So it's a good thing that uh, I thought of that when I was on the freeway not too far from here. Shut up. So I'm big into uh, listening to podcasts, and especially Joe Rogan's. And uh, I've been, I haven't been listening to like the, his new ones for the last two months. So I've been saving them all up so I could listen to them on this trip. <laughs> and I'm finally starting them. Finally, I'm gonna catch up today. And then I'll be listening to a lot of baseball and music. I gotta look, find out all that Coachella stuff that I'll be looking at while I'm there. I'm gonna put the camera down now, focus on driving. Right? Bye, Vegas! Station. It's fun. Look at the numbers. What Hillary is saying is no, it's not dealing with it. Welcome to California. State number one. At least there's no traffic, which is nice. I've just had cruise control set this entire time, and uh, this is my first time touching it. It's fucking. As soon as you cross the state line into California, there's, there's always. Uh, it goes into two lanes instead of three. So whenever a big truck passes another truck, uh, you gotta slow down a little bit. Plus going up this hill up here is slow, the slow taking path. That's why I love this lens, it's so wide. I can, and my glasses, it kinda, I guess I'm kinda looking at, I can look that way, pretend I'm talking to the camera. But I'm really watching where I'm driving. How about them apples for ya? And yeah, I was just pondering what I'm gonna be doing later today and I'm just like, What do I do when I get there? One place I want to visit. And Brooke showed it to me and it has the oldest, the longest shining light bulb. And she's obsessed with light bulbs, so I know she'd be super excited to see a picture and a video and a Snapchat of that. And possibly a light bulb souvenir if they have them. I want to get back to driving again again and again and again and again just passing Baker coming in to Barstow oh son of a bitch this thing wasn't even 
I'm recording. God damn it. God damn it. And now, I'm passing, uh, I'm driving past Edwards Air Force Base. Big windmills. Look at them all. They're all over. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is the furthest I've ever been. So from here on out, I am uh, experiencing everything for the first time. Yeah, hold on one second. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what they want. And Oh my gosh, I'm tired of driving already. I set a trip odometer thing. Almost, it was like by in between Gene and State Line, I set it and uh, it reads 466 miles at six hours and 30 minutes. Almost there, got less than an hour, probably like 40 miles left until my stop. So I, I really haven't filmed much this entire time because I don't really care to. We got a, something special up here, and I know someone's gonna love it. First stop for gas, right here. Woo, shit. All right, so I'm here at the, at the longest lit light bulb ever in the entire world. I know, Brooke, you're jealous. And it's 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 kind of awkward because it's inside a fire station. I guess if you just go up and ask, they'll they'll let you in. So I'm just gonna walk up with this camera and see if they'll let me in. I don't know. Ask questions. This will be interesting. <laughs> Look, there's literally it's literally just a firehouse. Oh man. Is this where the the light bulb is? It sure is. Can I look at it? Yeah. Saws right there, and I'll show you exactly where it is. Okay. So this, this is where the light bulb is. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come over here. I'll show you. There it is, in all its glory. <laughs> My friend's gonna be jealous. Yeah. She's obsessed with light bulbs. Oh, awesome. Here's one tattooed on her arm right here. <laughs> Since 1901, huh? 1901, yeah. It was. Uh, it used to be downtown, so it hasn't always been in this building. Yeah. It's been moved. It's been, you know, the generator. It runs off a separate generator. That it's like a replica of the light bulb. I might have to buy that. <laughs> wow. And then we have one yesterday. I'd say, yeah, average like one a day, <laughs> at least. I was yeah. like, well, do I do it? It's kind of on the way because it's going to San Francisco. Oh, so. okay. I yeah, mean, it's kind of. Yeah, we always get people coming like either from San Francisco to they're going to Yosemite. Okay. So people always stop here, like, oh yeah, we're in San Francisco on our way. And our engines drove in and out, and back when firefighters used to ride on the back of the tailboard for good luck, they would smack a light bulb on the way out. Does even survive through that? It's, oh yeah, oh yeah, like frisbees oh have hit it, and you know all sorts of. It's it's like one in, I don't even know how. Oh yeah, how like even is? like two, three weeks ago, we had, um, not the truck, but we had an engine parked in here and somebody was doing a checkout on the engine and accidentally turned on one of the big hoses and it like shot a ton of water over here. We're like, shit, no. <laughs> but, so many yeah. people would be mad. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you put it in a house full of firemen, it's like, yeah. Like, you, you guys know like what we do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got a basketball hoop right there. Every time, you know, we're, we're always shooting the hoop and messing around. Yeah. Don't hate me, Brooke. Don't hate me. Alrighty, alright. So I made it to Santa Clarita, San Jose area. Driving around, finding a brewery right now just to go get a fucking drink after this. Long day of how many hours driving? Eight, eight hours of driving. It's kind of nerve wracking, like, damn, what do I do now? What do I do? Look at the sun's going down, it's cool. I mean, I found, I've scoped a few spots out that I think would be good to park it for tonight. There's like one that's like got four different uh, hotels around it and there's one that's got a hotel and kind of a target near it. So it's like, I can park there and no one will bother me, I think. 